our sixth lecture video on properties of matter will cover Hooke's Law. Hooke's Law tells us that the ratio of the force applied to an object to its change in length is constant as long as the elastic limit has not been exceeded. This is called K, the elastic constant. In this picture, we see that the change in length when one mass is added is exactly half of the change in length when two masses are added. For a given spring, the elastic constant will not change. It is a function of the spring. The equation we can use to solve Hooke's law is K equals F divided by delta L, where K is the elastic constant, F is the applied force, and delta L is the change in length. Let's look at a couple of examples of Hooke's law. A force of 5.50 pounds stretches a spring 8.00 inches. What force is required to stretch the spring 14.0 inches? First, let's write down what we know. We know the original force F sub 1 is 5.50 pounds. We also know the original change in length, delta L1, is 8.00 inches. We are trying to find the force F sub 2, and we know the second change in length is 14.0 inches. The basic equation we will use to solve this Hooke's Law problem is that K, the spring constant, equals F, the force divided by delta L, the change in length. In this problem, we will have two separate working equations. The first one is simply the basic equation, K equals F divided by delta L. The second equation we will need is that force F equals K, the spring constant, times delta L, the change in length. Next, let's substitute into our working equations. First, we will find the spring constant K, then we will use that same spring constant to find the force needed to stretch the spring to a certain length. Our first substitution is that K equals 5.50 pounds divided by 8.00 inches. This gives us a spring constant K of 0 0.688 pounds per inch. Next, we will find the force by taking 0 0.688 pounds per inch times 14.0 inches. This gives us a force of 9.63 pounds. Here's one more example of Hooke's Law. A steel column is compressed 4.52 times 10 to the minus 4 meters when a weight force of 7.31 times 10 to the fifth newtons is applied. How much is the column compressed when a weight force of 1.25 times 10 to the sixth newtons is applied? This problem is very similar to the last one we looked at but we are going to solve it a little differently to show you that there's more than one way to solve some of these problems. First, we will write down everything we are given. We know the original force, F sub 1, is 7.31 times 10 to the fifth newtons. The original change in length, delta L1, is 4.52 times 10 to the minus 4 meters. The second force we are looking at applying to the same column is 1.25 times 10 to the sixth newtons. We are trying to find delta L2, or the change in length when the second force is applied. Since this is another Hooke's Law problem, the basic equation we will use is that K equals F divided by delta L. In this problem, we're going to use a slightly different working equation. Since we are looking at the same steel column, the column will have the same spring constant K no matter what force is applied. Therefore, we can actually set this problem up as a proportion. F sub 1 divided by delta L1 equals F sub 2 divided by delta L2, so this will be our working equation. Next, we will substitute in the three pieces of data we know, and we can cross, multiply, and divide to find the fourth missing piece of information. 7.31 times 10 to the fifth newtons divided by 4.52 times 10 to the minus 4 meters equals 1.25 times 10 to the sixth newtons divided by delta L2. To solve this, we will multiply 1.25 times 10 to the 6 newtons times 4.52 times 10 to the minus 4 meters divided by 7.31 times 10 to the 5th newtons. This should give us a delta L2 of 7.73 times 10 to the minus 4 meters. This concludes our discussion on Hooke's Law.